Game one of the preseason is in the books. The 49ers come away with a victory over the Green Bay Packers, 28 to 21, in a pretty convincing fashion. You got touchdowns from all three quarterbacks. You had Trey Lance find Danny Gray for a, the, the highlight of the day down the left sideline for Danny Gray's first NFL touchdown pass. Uh, you also had Nate Sudfeld finding Ray Ray McLeod in the middle of the field for a touchdown with a beautiful pass, by the way, by Nate Sudfeld. And then you had Brock Purdy finding Tanner Hudson on the right side of the end zone for a touchdown. And then Brock Purdy even came back and scored a two-point conversion to Keyshawn Johnson in a jump ball situation. It was actually a really good play by both of the guys there, but you also had defensive standouts. You had Samuel Womack coming away with two interceptions. We talked about Samuel Womack all throughout training camp. Again, as a guy, me personally, who was watching the offense extensively, I would continually pop onto our lives and we would talk about Samuel Womack, how he flashed every day at training camp. So I am not surprised by the impact that Samuel Womack had today. The fifth round rookie out of Toledo had a phenomenal debut in the NFL. Also another really good debut uh, for Marcelino McCrary Ball, the undrafted free agent linebacker, number 40, came away with the interception, but he also made a bunch of plays all over the field. Um, overall, really good performance by the San Francisco 49ers. You also had Spencer Burford prove, not, not that he needed to, but continue to prove why the 49ers have found an absolute gem with fourth round draft pick out of UTSA, Spencer Burford. We're gonna talk a lot more in depth about the offensive line and how they perform, but a standout on the O-line tonight was definitely Spencer Burford. You got guys like Kamoko Ture on the opposite bo side balling out, Drake Jackson. Uh, did have a little injury concern there, but Drake Jackson had a pretty good day um, overall. The entire team showcased their depth and showcased how many types of big plays they can make at each level of the depth chart. So overall, a very convincing win. We are going to get on live later to break it all down in much more depth. This is my instant reaction from the stadium here at Levi's. Uh, appreciate everyone who supports the page. Like, subscribe, and hit those noting bells because we will be going live Later tonight, it will be a while, but we will get on and we will talk about it all. Appreciate all you guys. I'm out of here. Peace.